It was a trial and error for me. I sort of figured it out in the process of doing it. I like to tell people it's like doing a magic trick for the first time publicly. So it's it's <laughs> it's a bit terrifying, but it's fun, and, and it was it's great to discover that it works. Mostly people are just like, what's going on here? And I love saying, come look in the camera. And they do, and, they're, and, and it, literally you'll have one person after the next going, wow. Oh, you gotta see this. The next one's like, oh my goodness, what am I seeing? And it's over and over, and it's just, I love that aspect. So the Portraits of Innovation series started really out of opportunity. People offered me spaces to make art, and I was like, this is great, but what am I gonna do? The first time I used clothes was actually at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, and I ended up loving it as a material because there's lots of colors, it's extremely flexible, different shapes and sizes to work with, and I'm really interested in working with everyday materials. And in this case, what was great is that here's this opportunity to then get the students and faculty involved by collecting the clothing, and then we can donate them. And the things that really interest me are, are actually uh, innovators, people who've been really wonderfully creative, done unique things. So Maggie Walker is from Richmond, lived in the neighborhood that abuts this school. But she's not the first African American woman to charter a bank. She's the first woman to charter a bank in America. That's a huge deal. How better to represent, you know, the wonderful people here who are striving to do something really wonderful with their own lives. So it's sort of using a very tra old-fashioned traditional technique, which is literally a piece of glass or plastic in my case, where I've outlined the image and I'm holding it up in space and I'm looking at, okay, well, where does that top dot end up? Okay, that's on the floor way back there. Somebody stand there, put a piece of tape there. And then we shift from that after I'm sort of laying in the rough colors, rough shapes, getting it kind of where it needs to be, to the computer using the camera as my eyes. So the camera, I take a photo, I put it on the computer, I compare it to the image, and I overlay it and I say, okay, now that I've seen this, this needs to move to the left, this to the right. I can be literally just making, you know, moving a little, the bend of a piece of fabric, a, a fold, and it's creating a shadow that's making a dramatic change in the image. So I'm using the technology as an interface because I can't trust my own eyes on this. Our brains want to understand the world as, well, things far away are the same size as things close up, so it's adjusting it. And so we're not getting an accurate representation of the world through our own eyes. We just need one Pixar sock to fix it. Change of perspective is really important, and so it's great when you can do a piece like this where people are literally changing their perspective. They're walking and saying, I don't know what this is, it's a pile of clothing. Oh, it's kind of cool, it's colorful. What is it, a fish, is it a boat? Just think well, how that would change, right? How you would then see opportunities around you all the time, right? What are you missing in your life? when you're walking out to the world going, gee, is there something hidden here that I'm not seeing? And certainly in the workplace, that's really necessary. In life, everything is all about looking at things from different perspectives, and it just goes back to being thinking creatively. I think it's awesome for business students to have a more creative outlet. It's such a gratifying thing as an artist because you want to change people's perspectives, but, and in this case, very literally, uh, but to have people, you know, one by one come up and go, Oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. You know that, right, that little light bulb's gone off in their head and they're now looking at their world differently.